especially, you know, I mean, with, with so many key linemen out, you were still able to. Well, I, I think it starts with their effort. I think they played really hard. I think it was uh, nice coming, uh, you know, off of behind. Had a couple a couple weeks to prepare for them. But uh, overall, they executed very, very well. Um, with, with, you know, a few new guys in there, I thought the communication was really good. They are on the same page. They played as a full unit. And as a result, they gave our backs some seams. And, and of course, those guys made some plays as well. What did you like about what you did Saturday? Where do you feel like you missed some opportunities? Yeah, the biggest thing we were balanced. You know, I think when we're when we're best as an offense, um, even throughout the year, we've been balanced. And it starts up front in the run game. And I really believe when you can run it, you can throw it. And I thought uh, we were able to take advantage uh, of space as well um, and taking what they're giving us. And then ultimately, you know, what we got to improve upon, of course, the turnovers. Um, we we gave them some possessions, and um, you know, they did a nice job on defense. But ultimately, I thought we kind of stopped ourselves at times. Um, so I, I think you know, first of all, uh, we talked about you know ball security all the time, and and that's something that as an offense we got to take. A lot of pride in. Um, and the next is third down execution. Um, we did a better job not getting as many third downs. We're getting some first downs on first and second down. Um, but uh, you know, there were some plays out there we could have made that not only would have been conversions, but I had a chance to be big plays that we let get away from us. When Mike plays, do you want to get him maybe out on the perimeter or put the ball in his hands, running a little bit more? Absolutely. That, that's always part of the, the plan. And um, of course, uh, we, we got to that some in the second half. They also um, were doing a good job of mess charging, we call it. So the defensive ends were playing high and wide to try to keep him in the pocket. And at times, that, that of course opens up some space for our running game. So uh, they got to make a decision when Mike's in there of, of who they want to keep, you know, keep the ball. And I thought he did a really nice job of being consistent with his reads and giving the ball when it was a give, but also pulling it when it was a pull and getting on the edge. Um, and of course, he has the ability to make plays for us when he's on the edge. I think if you compare his performance against like Wake and maybe the second half against Elon to Mizzou in South Carolina, he is playing better. Uh, how do you think he has improved over the, the weeks since then? Yeah, I, I think honestly the consistency. Yeah, he's letting the, the game come to him. I mean, he's going to make plays with his athletic ability. And, um, that was one thing I was really proud about. Um, you know, on Saturday he was really really consistent. Um, and, and I know on a zone read play, hey, you're reading the defensive end or reading a C gap player, uh, it sounds easy, right? And, and uh, that was the most consistent he played. You know, being being um, right with his decision to give the ball and, and, and pull the ball, and ultimately that's going to give our offense a chance to have success and be more efficient. And that's that's what happened, um, which which was good to see. Could you see Ken Seals having a role in the next three games? Well, Ken's done a great job of pairing as well, and of course Mike's going to um, you know be the guy this week as we get going. And um, you know, but uh, as as you know, Ken keeps progressing, um, he's going to always be ready to go and, and has a lot of ability. Um, you know, watching them, they got a lot, some, some good guys. You know, secondary is pretty good. Linebackers are pretty good. D line is pretty good. They do a lot of different things that uh, kind of mix you up from their fronts and giving you different structures, different fronts. So it's about just honing in and watching film and just seeing kind of how they're going to adjust the things that we do and then be able to find those things and, uh, and be able to adjust and, and find different things to cover and, and uh, be able to make sure our schemes fit. Well, well, what they're trying to attack us with. You guys ran the ball so you know, obviously really well in the last game, despite having so many injuries for key guys at the offensive line position. What, what do you attribute that to? What was working well? You know that you guys were able to improve on based on the previous game. I think like Coach Lynch has preached, you know, countless throughout weeks, is having a good practice. You know, coming out here and doing what we have to do, and be able to set the jaw and just go out there and work. And you know, I think we had a really good Tuesday practice, good Wednesday, even good Monday. So. It was just about staying consistent, doing what we had to do, and I think it just translated to the game with the game plan that they had set forth for us. So once we got out there, it just kind of became, uh, we kind of came at ease, just about going out there. We did it all week, we did it for two weeks, so it's like going to execute that, and we was able to execute and have a good night um, offensively. Again, it, it, it took everybody, it took the whole O line, it took the receivers. Um, quarterback making the right adjustments, and then you know me and me and Cheeks were able to do what we had to do and be able to get the yards we need to get. I know it's not been the last few weeks that you guys wanted. This time of year, you're dealing with class, you're dealing with being beat up, all the things that come with playing football. Here. What are the challenges of staying engaged, and how do you how do you deal with those? Yeah, no, you know, we don't we don't we don't try to focus on that because you know those are kind of excuses, and we don't want to be able to have an excuse of why we haven't got the last few weeks done. Um, you know, it's just about coming out here and just trying to reset and refocus and just trying to get go out there and get the W that we've been kind of wanting. We've been close in a lot of games. You look at Missouri, we lost by three. You know, you look at the Ole Miss game, you look at even last week. I mean, we were right there. And we kind of just hurt ourselves with a little bit of turnovers and just miscues and uh, defensively and offensively. So it's about just fixing those little things, those little nuances, and go out there and try to get a W. You know, we've only hurt ourselves. I, I think when we 
when we play games, it's been Vanderbilt versus Vanderbilt rather than Vanderbilt versus the opponent because it's always just been one thing that has been the trickle effect to end up affecting the rest of the, the games so forth. And so once you get down, just fixing those and, and trying to play a, a clean, perfect game, I think we'll be able to come out with a W that we've been wanting for a while. Kentucky's a very good team. Uh, definitely up front, they'll probably be one of the best, if not the best, offensive line we played so far this year. Uh, Will Levy's a great quarterback, projected first rounder, so we'll have our challenges there. And then just with the running back and then also their passing game, um, it's going to force us to communicate a lot with all their motions and what they do. Um, and then just try to stop their speed in two and just their power back at 24. So, like, Levis, it, it, people seem to really like him because he has the huge arm. I, I know they haven't been super consistent, but how does that present some challenges when you know that that guy can throw the ball, you know, 70, 80 yards down the field? And, and oh, yeah, yeah. Communication is going to be huge just because, like you're saying, with that arm strength, he has the power to take the top off the defense. And we've struggled at times this year during that, especially against teams like Ole Miss and Alabama. Um, we gave some deep shots, which hurt us a whole lot. So it's going to be big on our communication. And then the secondary stayed on top of the routes. What do you guys feel like you should have done better against South Carolina? Um, I feel like one thing that's kind of been the same for us all year that we haven't done a great job at is just leverage and tackling. Um, and I think that showed up again on Saturday, um, which is just, it hurts after just kind of seeing it show up this whole season and then to see it again. Um, so we're definitely making it an emphasis this week. And also just communication just has to be much better. Um, South Carolina definitely came out with some new stuff last week that challenged us a little bit in our communication. Um, so we just gotta be even better and stronger and just fluid across the whole defense, making sure everybody's on the same page.